This is my collection of grammars and dictionaries published by the German firm of Langenscheid. I made the Middle High German video just a couple of minutes ago, and as I reviewed the Buske Verlag the same day I made the Old High German video, this seemed like a good time to do that. Like the Buske Verlag, um, some of these things, particularly the dictionaries that I'm showing you now, I believe are available uh, in English, but in the main, if you want to avail yourself of most of the uh, scholarly materials here, you need to know German first. So this won't help you all that much if, if you don't, but uh, if you're seriously interested in being a polyglot, uh, I think that's a good first step, and this kind of uh, resource is, is a good reason why. Let me show you some of their uh, materials, and that might convince you. Let me begin with their mainstay of uh, material for learning languages, where their Praktische Lehrbücher. These were available in about uh, 18 or 20 different languages, Arabic, English, French, Finnish, Italian, Latin, Greek, uh, Dutch, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Russian, Swedish, Spanish, Czech, Slovakian, Turkish, and Hungarian, at least. And uh, this older series here, uh, this sort of blue series that I have, most of these I, I got in used bookstores when I lived in Germany in the early 1990s, these were originally published uh, in the 1960s and 70s for the most part. And I would say that these uh, Praktische Lehrbücher compare, uh, they're, they're comparable to the best of the uh, old uh, Teach Yourself or colloquial books of the series, the English series that I have reviewed. Um, they're comparable to them in the sense that they are basically grammar translation methods. They explain the grammar and give you, for the main, uh, uh, translation exercises to do. Um, they're different in, uh, well, one respect is that the answer key is not just published in the back, but it's a separate little booklet, which uh, has the advantage of being able to compare side by side if you want to do that, and sometimes the disadvantage that you, know, you can lose it or, or not have it. Um, but the real difference, um, the nice thing that I think makes these infinitely preferable, if, if you can access the German language, is that in addition to the grammatical explanations and the, um, the solid exercises, each lesson begins with a reading passage, and in the earlier lessons, these reading passages uh, might be uh, sort of constructed dialogues about the, the history and culture of the country whose language you're learning, but by the uh, later lessons, you're getting excerpts from literature. So uh, that's a, a very nice feature to, to have. Uh, so these are a good alternate for that sort of serious hard studying method. Most of them follow the same procedure that I showed. Some of them, I think, like the uh, the Dutch method here, are uh, sort of like the Buska uh, Icelandic method that I showed you. They give you all the grammar initially, and then a set of the reading passages that refers you uh, back to the grammatical points. These are languages that are quite easy for, for Germans to learn, so I guess they do that for those. Um, Apart from their, oh, th those are the 1970s, 60s, and 70s methods. In the 1990s and 2000s, they switched over, not just to a new yellow cover, but yes, inside, uh, they got color, they got more pictures, uh, they got uh, exercises that are no longer um, purely translation, but more fill in the blanks and that kind of thing. So, uh, yes, indeed, the sort of the dumbing down or watering down process uh, did get started there too. It's probably underway uh, more and more just as well, but it uh, got started a little bit later. And it, um, the starting point was, uh, I think, uh, a higher intellectual, more rigorous uh, standard, of uh, scholarly standard. So uh, it hasn't gone as far, and I believe that even these uh, current Langenscheid uh, Praktische Lehrbücher are probably going to be more solid on the average than your, um, than your English-speaking books of, of comparable type. Um, those are their books for learning language straight out. Another kind of feature that they have that it's not unique to them, but it's it's uh, handy are these uh, short grammars that they have. Uh, most often, you either have 
uh, just sort of a, a grammatical sketch in your book, or you have to go to a full-scale resource reference grammar, which can overwhelm you at times. And if you just want to have a nice overview, these 60, 80, 100 uh, page short grammars are nice things to have. Uh, even nicer than that, um, for uh, grammatical purposes, I really like this series of uh, six grammatical tables that they have for English, German, Spanish, Russian, Latin, and Italian, and French. Um, these are uh, tables that they're all comparable. They have uh, eight pages, different colors, red, red, and blue, to black to show you where what's what. Uh, and everything is just broken down into the nicest, most simple tabular forms. So uh, if you uh, look at these in comparative purposes, these are quite nice. I used to have these on my wall in my office in Korea. Um, these are a good thing to have for review. These are probably for students, uh, for students to learn too, apart from their uh, books for learning, at least for Latin. They had this very nice sort of set of cards of Latin grammar and question and answers, so you could uh, take it apart and just carry the uh, kind of grammar that you needed, grammar translation here, uh, and continually go over it until you got it down solid. So they had a lot of good materials for learning. I think I skipped over saying something about the quality of the recordings that comes with these books too. That also is uh, preferable, I think, to uh, the average teach yourself or colloquial book. You get more recording, I would say 90 minutes or two hours of target language recording comes with these Praktische Lehrbücher, and uh, there's less uh, interference from the German instructional voice than there is from the English instructional voice, and uh, on the whole, they're, they're quite good. They're, they kind of lack dynamism, but uh, uh, on the average, but they're good. Um, and then, apart from learning materials, Langenscheidt has all these dictionaries that you can access, and again, I think these are the things that are most commonly available uh, in English, uh, and they come here in these uh, sort of hand size of about uh, 800 page, 900 page uh, sort of thorough dictionaries down to uh, smaller pocket sized dictionaries that you uh, can carry around when you're traveling in the country. They have them monolingual and bilingual, so uh, they're a big dictionary publisher house. Um, as I said, most of them are probably not too special, um, but this one is. This book, uh, Arabic dictionary is uh, by Dr. Lawrence Kopftisch and I cannot recommend this dictionary more highly to anybody who's uh, trying to learn how to read Arabic. This has helped me uh, more than uh, any other resource and let me explain why uh, at the risk of uh, boring those who haven't studied a language like this. The authoritative scholarly dictionary also was originally in German, the Hans Fair Dictionary, uh, more often published in English now, um, and that follows the traditional Arabic dictionary uh, order, which is not strictly alphabetical, but rather alphabetical according to word root. Uh, and uh, that means that you need to know from the how, how to subtract the prefix and other things and go right to the root rather than looking it up in strict alphabetical order, which is not an easy thing to do when you are a learner. Uh, this dictionary, on the other hand, is in strict uh, al uh, alphabetical order, according to the order of Arabic letters. So when you're reading an Arabic book, uh, and you're an intermediate or even a low advanced stage, this is uh, the best companion uh, that you can have because you can look the word up uh, without sitting and thinking about, uh, well, what is the root here going to be? So um, this is very highly recommended. Um, the firm as a whole, the quality of their work, uh, again, all, all things sometimes have gaps or holes in it, but uh, I would say uh, it's overall uh, much higher than the comparable types of materials that are available in English. So Langenscheidt's.